Jasmine Langett and I'm going to show you how to do a really quick recipe. This is a mini recipe just as you're getting started. So on the Teaching Kids Programming website you go to the kids section here and you can see you have recipes and frequently asked questions. So on the kids um, section, which is the first section right here, you can see there it is, you have two choices. You can install Small Basic onto a Windows PC um, and those are the steps to do that here and our extensions. Or if you have a USB drive, you can actually just click this link right here and you'll download, you can see it's going to come down, uh, a, a, a USB zip file. And you just put that on a USB drive, you unzip it and plug it in. Um, we're already set up, so I'm going to just go out of there. And once you do that, then you're going to do recipes. So recipes are little lessons and they take up to you know an hour, maybe two hours. But we're going to show you the first uh, one that we use for a demonstration just to give you an idea of how it goes. And it's at the very bottom here. It's the um, giant tortoise. So you can see we've got these weird codes. And um, this is the saved location. So um, if you click on that, you'll see that it opens up. And um, you don't really see anything because this is built on just the core small basic. Um, and this one actually has only English comments. So you can just take this line and import it into Small Basic that's running on your PC. You can't do any editing in this web viewer, and in fact, you can't even run our um, answers because our extensions to Small Basic aren't part of this um, web version. So they'll actually give you errors. So you really don't do much with this other than just see the recipe. So the ID here is ZWQ663. And um, we're just going to go ahead and minimize this. And we've got this imported into Small Basic. Now, the idea with the recipes is that they're English comments and you translate them line by line. A typical recipe has between 20 and 100 lines of code. But just for the purposes of you understanding like what we're doing and how to get started, we have like a mini recipe here. So what you want to do when you're working with your pair, and hopefully you have another person to code with, is one person's going to be talking, the other person's going to be typing. And um, that's so that you can use the power of both your brains and really have more fun while you're doing this. So I'm going to have my pair here read out line one. Show the giant tortoise. So what's the subject in that, uh, in line one? Tortoise. Um, yeah, and it's actually giant tortoise here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use uh, control space. And we're going to see that we have a number of different objects. And we're going to arrow up and down. This might be a little cut off the screen. Um, but we have a, a wheel, and you can see it on the right side in the documentation. And we're going to type a G. We're going to see that we have giant tortoise. Now we can actually press tab to complete that. And uh, you'll see it's uh, two words with no space, and it's in a turquoise color. And over on the right, you'll see that it's an object. And can you read out the documentation? What is this thing? Special type of tortoise to demonstrate large examples of recipes. So an object is like a noun, basically. And unlike in English, where, you know, in this example we have the verb first, here we got the noun, and then we're going to have a period. And then again we have our wheel, and we can go up and down, and we can see that we have various operations or methods or verbs you can think of. And we're going to finish translating this, and it's pretty obvious what it is. We're going to just say show. And again, once we see it on the wheel, which may be cut off the screen, but it's, it's, it's uh, on show, we just uh, press the tab to autocomplete. Notice that it's a brown color, and it puts parentheses for us. We're going to go ahead and run it, and that's going to give us the giant tortoise. Now, uh, one of our principles of courseware is after and only after you've translated a line, you get rid of the English so that you can then work on the stuff you still have to translate. So how do you do that again? What, what's the keyboard shortcut? Control L. You just put your mouse anywhere and just control L. Now, can you read out what's now line two for us? Help the giant tortoise draw a green square. And of course, what's the subject again? Giant tortoise. So I should type what on the keyboard? G. A G and an I. And then you want to really use your editor, so press tab. You're just going to have a lot more fun programming if you let your editor do the work for you. And what do you use to separate the noun and the verb? What punctuation? A period. Period. And um, so what are we looking for here? We've got to pick from draw shape or draw square or reset or show. So which one should we use? Draw square. Draw square. So we're going to say draw square. And then we're going to look over to the right side and we're going to see the documentation. Can you read that out for me? Creates a square with a given color. Okay. So we just have to put the color in and here's an actual example. And when we look at the example down here, we could actually copy and paste that if we wanted to. 
um, but I'm just going to put this in and uh, I'm going to I'm going to type green now um, when you're working in a pair you want to have the person who is uh, not typing make sure that the person who is typing is doing the right thing did I do the right thing here is there anything I missed on this green yes what, what should I do to, to fix it you should put quotes around it oh yeah that's right okay because that designates that this is a string and notice it changes color in the editor so I'm going to go ahead and run this cool and so I've got a square so now I'm going to just uh, get rid of the English now one of the fun things that you'll see in our recipes is this thing called variation and in variation there is no English we basically um, if we have a teacher available the teacher gives verbal commands and demonstrates how you can make some changes to the code um, and it might be a change just so that you can change things. We call that refactoring or exposing some of the properties of the shapes or the, the uh, properties of the, the games or whatever you're working with. Or it might be actual changes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a simple refactor. Instead of draw square, we're going to investigate that other method, draw shape. And we want to have a green square. Now if we look over here in the documentation, can you read that out for me under draw shape? Creates a shape with a given number of sides with a given color. Okay, so we have to put first the sides, and if we want a square, if we want the exact same thing, we're going to just say four and then green in the quotes, because that's a that's a refactoring, if you will, in that we're we're not changing the functionality of the code, but we're making the code more malleable or changeable. So there it is. That's looking good. So now we are going to change it up. So how many? Uh, what's a good number for the number of sides? What would you like to make? A 17-agon. A 17-agon. Okay, and what color would you like that to be? Blue. Blue, okay. All right, so let's see how that looks. Oh, cool. That's really neat. Okay, so that's kind of what we do in the variations. Now, you can save this out onto your machine as a .smallbasic file or SV, or you can publish it. And if you publish it, you get one of these ID numbers and it's actually a web URL that people can actually look at. Again, I'll remind you though, because the giant tortoise is something we added with our small basic extensions, that that won't run in the web edition. It'll only run in the, in the edition here. A couple other things you can do is, of course, if you make a mistake, you can undo, um, and you can also graduate, and that means this code will be translated into vb.net because small basic is a version of uh, uh, .net language. You would have to have a version of Visual Studio to work in that. So uh, another thing that we have available in the recipe library is we have uh, answer keys. So if you got stuck, this is what an answer key looks like. So you can see that we have a 1 and a 2. And in this case, we are translating in the actual order the English comments are written. But in the longer recipes, you might translate line 1 first and then line 7 second. And the idea behind that is you translate one line of English into one line of code. And these, of course, are runnable. So I would go ahead and I would run that, and that would be the answer. And those have IDs as well. Now, um, another part of our recipe library is this idea of a quiz. So for the giant tortoise, we have the quiz here. And this is ID PDW305. Now you can see this is just a single line quiz. Again, this is a, a shortened version of the quizzes for the actual recipes. Those are usually, oh, like four to six questions. Now what we recommend that you do is that you run it to start. And for each question, you can run it over and over. And you can see, darn, we failed. And what we have to do here is in line six, we have to translate that. So can you read line uh, five, I'm sorry, line five out, and we'll put that in line six? Have the giant tortoise draw an orange octagon. So what should I be doing there? Giant tortoise. Okay, so I type a G. And then what do I do? The arrow keys. The arrow key down to I see giant tortoise. Then what should I do? Tab. Tab, and then what? Period. Period, and then what? Draw shape. I want to draw a shape. Okay, oops. So I should press a D and then a tab, and then what? In parentheses. Uh huh. Eight. Okay, eight. Because it's an octagon. All right. Comma. Yep. In quotes. Uh huh. Orange. The word orange. Okay. And then I need the parentheses, and then I go ahead and run it. And ooh, cool! So I passed the quiz, and it made a neat-looking shape. One of the things with our quizzes is all the answers that you're passing in actually contribute to the building of the reward shape. So if I go ahead and I change this to 
Um, I'm going to say maybe yellow, and let me make it seven. I'm going to fail the quiz, but I will make a shape. So let's see how that goes. Let's just play around with it. Yep, there it is. So this is a little introduction to our world of um, programming with Small Basic. Hopefully you get started with one of these recipes and then you can go back to the top of the library here and you can see that you're learning various concepts um, and going through and there's quite a few drawing recipes and then we start getting into game recipes with the Hilo game and the um, Connect the Dots which is a kind of a game and the Tic-Tac-Toe player and the Mad Libs. Also, if you uh, come up with a cool recipe and you post it up, we'd love to show people how you did it on the Teaching Kids programming site. So go ahead and drop us an email. So thanks for listening in and have fun uh, coding.